I do feel angry. I feel rage about this product. <laughs> round of applause for this adorable uh, vintage glass. This is actually a glass that I gifted my friend who I'm dog sitting for right now. We both love all things Western and we both love wearing cowboy boots. So I gave a set of four of these to him like years ago and they have held up beautifully. Look at how stunning this is. Okay, I'm sorry, this color combination of the purple and the green and then the gold like foil on the glass, like get out of here. Mm. Oh my God. I have forgotten how incredible Empress Gin is. I actually had a subscriber, I believe it was Justine. I think she was the one who sent me a bottle of Empress Gin years ago during the pandemic. Some of the best gin I've ever had and absolutely the most stunning. I made that right. That is correct. So once again, I am displaced. I'm not in my apartment. Like I said, I am dog sitting for my very good friend. I think this is one of my most favorite pieces of art that I've ever seen in a home. And I think it's absolutely stunning as the backdrop to my videos. It's just so eye-catching. And then combined with how it's lit, like just stop it. I did borrow my friend's kimono and I'm pretty much obsessed, very partial to it. So today I'm doing a try new makeup video and I haven't done one of these in I think at least a couple months, but I'm gonna be trying trying Make Beauty, Colfi. I've got the new Dew Blush shades from Say, which are, spoiler alert, probably gonna be the star of the freaking show. I've got the new Jones Road um, like concealer pencil. Hopefully this will become a new makeup filling me with rage video. I guess we'll see. Mm. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Kate the Great and I am an exclusively pro-choice influencer, which means that I only feature products from brands that are loudly and proudly in support of abortion rights. I always keep a researched and updated pro-choice beauty brand list that can always be found on my Instagram. Just head over there. It is always a pinned post. It's literally the first post you're going to see. And as always, everything I talk about here today is going to be linked down below in the description box. Those are affiliate links. And if you shop through my link, it really, really helps support my channel. So I thank you in advance. Okay, so first prepping the skin with the Merit Great Skin. And this is the little travel container that came with their holiday set. I've been traveling with this while I've been taking care of my friend's dog. Okay, so great skin applied. You can see it's given me like juicy ass skin. Okay, so we're starting with the Make uh, Radiant Skin Tint. And this is a new foundation for me. I have used it a couple of times, but I haven't really like focused on it and committed to it. So that's what it looks like in the palm of my hand. It's definitely not the runniest. It's kind of a Goldilocks. It's not too thick and not too thin. And I'm gonna be using my Merit foundation brush to apply this. This is actually the brush that I've been traveling with and it's so lovely. I mean, I do like a sponge better than a brush for foundation in general, but this is pretty flawless. <laughs> I was getting inundated with this woman's ads for Make Beauty, the skin tint in particular on my TikTok. And it was truly like the most gorgeous finish I've ever seen on camera. Like her skin didn't even look real. And this is pretty much what was happening with her skin. <laughs> this right here. I was like, that looks like a freaking dewy, gorgeous filter or something. Cause it is really nice and sheer and dewy but it's not like the sheerest of the sheer, you know what I mean? Like there is a little bit of body to this, which is actually kind of surprising to me, say compared to like, you know, the Elia serum tint or whatever that's called. There's definitely like more to this, but it also feels very hydrating. I have to say that like, I feel like my skin is like a glazed ham right now. And then I'm gonna go in with my Merit Minimalist Stick. Um, this is definitely my number one foundation right now. I can't put it down and honestly, it was kind of hard to choose this over this, which is why, why was that hard? It should be this because this is basically a new foundation for me, whereas this is not, but that is how stuck on this I am and how flawless it looks at all times. So I'm gonna use this as a concealer today, not, not a foundation. Okay, so that is, the foundation and concealer applied. 
Now we're going to set the face. Actually, you know what? No, first we're gonna bronze just a little bit and I'm gonna use the Merit Bronze Balm in the shade Sen. I haven't been bronzing a lot. It's winter time. I'm pale as hell and um, I just kind of don't require it, but it always gives a little bit of dimension. We're going, we're going to go in with a light hand. I always like to have like a little bit of bronzer up here because like I said, I do feel like it gives, you know, a little bit more dimension. The face doesn't look quite as flat. It always just ends up looking a little bit healthier. You know what I mean? All right. So we've got a little, a little something, some as far as bronzer going on there. That's just just enough. Now I'm moving on to the Make Powder, which is literally the only powder I use right now. And I'm grabbing my Jones Road Powder Brush, which is my absolute favorite. And this is the Diffusion Set. So this is obviously the powder that goes along with this skin tint and man oh man, if this isn't just a stunning winning combination. You can see how it is you know, just lightly mattifying, but just a little bit. Still keeping that really nice natural glow to the skin, but I don't look like an oil slick. And there is the Make Foundation set with their powder. I'm so impressed with Make so far, and it's it comes as no surprise, because I've had so many of you guys tell me, Kate, you gotta get on this. One of my good friends, Chase, is like, I think he had to hound me for like a year and I'm finally getting into it and everyone was right. And yes, yes, I'm getting those damn metallic shadows. Those look insane. We're gonna do the brows. These are not new brow products, but they are my go-to brow products. First, I'm taking my almost completely used up Gen C Arch Support in the shade Medium Brown. I always finish off with my Jones Road Brow Gel in clear. If I go too hard, you know, initially, this always kind of like cleans it up, polishes it up, and makes it look a little bit more natural. And kind of just brush out any like clumps or chunks of gel in there. Okay, brows are done. They are indeed a little bit bold. I am kind of giving you a Eugene Levy energy. But you know what, I'm into it and it's gonna come together when you put everything else on my face. So this is a brand new product that I have not even like dipped into. This is the Kulfi Zari Eyes Eyeshadow. This is a cream eyeshadow in the shade Citara Sparkles. I'm gonna swatch this for you and already putting my finger in the pot, it feels like a butt tree souffle. So this is Citara Sparkles. Ooh! Ooh, she is pigmented. So pretty. You guys know I don't generally do <laughs> eyeshadow looks at all anymore. And the fact that this is just a one and done, thank God. Okay, so upon first application, I am incredibly impressed at how evenly that applied. Even more important to me is eyeshadow, like being able to blend seamlessly up into my brow bone, making it a perfect one and done with little to no effort. Okay, I'm sorry, but this finger swatch alone is, I mean, is that not the most beautiful, like rosy wet look eyeshadow? What's even going on? So now I'm gonna take my Merit Minimalistic and I'm just gonna clean up this area because I don't like this to look messy. Okay, perfect. That is exactly how I want that to look. Oh my God, I totally forgot about the freaking Jones Road. Oh, I blew it. I was supposed to feature these and I didn't. I mean, it's too late now. I've already got like all my base on and everything. Okay, we're gonna save these for another time. Sorry about it. <laughs> I'm really annoyed with myself right now. So I'm going to line my eyes with a new liner. This was, I think it was a free gift with purchase from Make. This is the Continuum Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. Wish this wasn't self-sharpening. Don't love a self-sharpening situation. Yes, there is a sharpener on the other end and I literally just don't care. I love <laughs> pencils that I can actually sharpen myself and get the actual point that I wanna get. And I'm just going in and literally like, you know, kind of thickening my lash line. That's all we're trying to do here. This is fine. I'm gonna be honest, the formula is really nice, but I don't like that I can't sharpen it and I'm, I don't see myself using this. I see myself keeping on using my Jones Road eye pencil, which I can actually sharpen with a sharpener. This is not something I love. It is indeed a buttery enough formula and it stays warm enough that I can take the warmth of my finger and just like, you know, kind of uh, drag 
the eyeliner and that trick works like a dream with this. So that's good to know. Now I'm not gonna forget to go in with the next Jones Road product that's new to me, which is the mascara. This is what the wand looks like. So it's a curling wand and it's quite thick and has kind of like old school bristles to it. We'll see. So far this is applying very nice and naturally. It's, it's pretty light. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm not gonna use this. And there's nothing wrong with it, but I just prefer a more like dramatic mascara with a little bit more oomph. So probably gonna give this to a friend who likes a really, really pared down natural lash. I am going to go with, yeah, I'm gonna go with my Merit Clean Lash. Yeah, I just feel like I have way more control with this. It's, you know, giving me more product on my lashes than the Jones Road Mascara. Okay, I'm very excited because we are getting to the Say Do blushes and guys, I have tried these. Okay, I absolutely have. I couldn't keep my hands off them. I was waiting on pins and needs to receive them from Say. They came out with three brand new shades of their incredible dew blush. Guys, this formula is one of my favorite formulas. The first shade we have here is Baby, and this was a part of a collection that came out for the holidays, and people loved it so much that they came out with it in their core collection. So this is the shade Baby, which is a cool pink, and you can see how beautifully sheer these are. This is the shade Cutie, which is, I believe, a dusty, warm, a warm, dusty rose. This is definitely like Fox vibes from Merit. It's definitely a little bit more op opaque and not quite as sheer as the other two shades, but it's hard choice because then we also have the shade Sweetie, which is a neutral pink. Oh, this is so gorgeous too. So that's uh, Sweetie. And that almost kind of gives you like watermelon pink vibes a little bit. Again, you know, really nice and sheer. This is a little bit more pigment over here. So I'm going to go in with the shade Cutie, which is the shade I was just talking about. I feel like it's a really nuanced shade. I do feel like it's very similar to one of my favorite blush shades of all time, which is from Merit. It's their Flush Balm in the shade Fox. And I'm gonna blend this out, of course, with my favorite cream blush brush. This is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush Brush. Again, this is the shade Cutie. This is the Warm Dusty Rose. A little bit on my lips here, because why not? And the thing is, these blend out so effortlessly that even if you go in with too much pigment for you, I promise you're gonna be able to blend it out. And look at how nice and subtle it is. It looked like I put a lot on, but like I said, it blends out so easily. Look at that. Like, I, I, I do feel angry. I feel rage about this product. That looks absolutely gorgeous and i am gonna go in with an apple topper right in that money spot in the apple we're gonna go in with a second say shade i feel like the right choice today is that cool pink baby shade oh my god and I'm going back in with my Make Powder to kind of tamp this down a little bit. Look at how perfect that is. What is even going on? And I know what you thought. I know you thought, Kate, you went in too hard with that blush. Well, you know what? It don't even matter because look at how stunning that is. And that really did kind of like pull the eye together even more perfectly, I think, for this look. That's what I'm saying about these dew blushes. If you're a person who feels a little bit nervous about cream and liquid blush, which I know a lot of people are, you need to try these because they're really approachable. And like I said, even if you go like a little bit too ham, you go a little bit too far, it's so easy to pull it back and rein it in and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Now the one shade I did not feature, which don't you worry, I'm gonna be saving it for another video because it is stunning, is the neutral pink shade Sweetie. And this on its own is like all I need. I think Baby is really interesting and I think it's really beautiful to apply, like as I said, like an app, the apple of your cheek topper. It kind of adds just this like beautiful ingenue, like glow to your cheeks. It's kind of hard to explain. It's giving me Stockholm vibes a little bit. It's definitely more, like cool toned intense compared to Merit Stockholm, but same kind of idea. Okay, and now we're moving on to lips. My lips are a little bit parched, so I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. lip mask. 
a little hydrate. This is my beloved lip liner. It's like the only one I use. It's the perfect shade for my lips. It is Jones Road Lip Liner in the shade Mauve. All right, lips are lined. I'm gonna show you two different gloss options for this. We're gonna go a little more subtle and then we're gonna go a little bit more Valentine's like juicy pink. This is actually something that I've been picking up and I can't put down. And I don't know why the Tower 28 lip glosses kind of fell to the wayside for me, but, but yeah, I've kind of rediscovered them. This is the shade Pistachio and it's just like the most beautiful pinky nude milky formula. Like that is a sexy, soft, my lips but better situation. But I also think the shade I'm about to put on is perfect as well. This is, I hope this is still available. If it's not, I'm sorry. But I do love all of the shades of these In Beauty lip glazes. This is a part of their um, collaboration with Poppy. And this is Raspberry Rosé and it is just the most fun, gorgeous pink shade. Oh my God, oh my God. Like, no, this is it, this is the one. Mm, this formula is so sheer and it just beautifully plumps out and fills out all the lines in your lips and really just gives you like the sheerest, fullest lip. I want a little bit more mascara on my lower lashes. I'm feeling a little bit dramatic with these brows. I really think that kind of like looks better. I don't know why, it just does. I just can't get over the finish of this make skin tint. For this dewy of a foundation to look this gorgeous on camera, that's impressive. This is absolutely stunning. I am fully obsessed with these dew blushes as well. Like I've literally just been wearing them non-stop. This Kulfi eyeshadow is next level. I really do like this shade. I personally like it a little bit more sheer on my lids because it does run like a little bit more pink rosy, obviously. But I think a sheer application of this is Stunning. And this lip gloss is so, so pretty. Like if this doesn't scream Valentine's Day, I don't, I don't know what it does. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. And it smells, oh God, they just get their scents so right. I'm not gonna throw the baby out with the bathwater if a scent isn't my favorite, but I don't love like sweet fruity scents. They're often really artificial to me, not in beauties. Mm, and the fatty doe foot, the way it freaking hugs your lips. Okay guys, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for joining me. As I said, everything I talked about and used here today is linked down below in the description box. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Mm. I'm making me another one of these immediately.